Hey guys, my name is Hugo Fontaine Jr. and today we're going to be unboxing one of these little mini Trackmaster motorized sets and this was actually bought by Wolfie. We don't have Wolfie today right now because he's actually in school working on a play so he's not with us right now but here we are with the set. I'm very excited. I got cranky and I'm very excited to open this because the troublesome truck I hear is actually another wobbly one, so that's very great. It also has a 3D face, which is actually different than the other troublesome truck with the windmill. This has a lot of features, it seems like, and on the back of the box, you can see all of the features that it displays. And there's, oh my God, I'm so excited because there's two different box cars that Cranky can pick up, and one of them is clear, which I've never seen before. So yeah, let me see if I can open this up. Oh, well, the troublesome truck with the cars fell out just now. <laughs> now I just have to get cranky out, and it seems like there's one of those white ties behind here on the fake water. I did it! So here we are with the cranky set piece. This is actually a really nice portable set piece. I love it, because you're actually able to flip this up and down. So obviously you could just have it like this for portable spacing and stuff. This doesn't go down, so the height will probably be a little hard to fit in a box, but besides that, it's pretty thin in general. And we have this troublesome truck, and he feels very heavy with the boxes in it. It's very weird how heavy he feels, but I like it a lot because it feels like quality to me. It feels very durable. The boxes are pretty heavy. I think that must be why he's so heavy with these in it. This one's lighter, of course. This has lobsters in it. Oh my god, it's so cool. And they shake around. This is also just a lobster box, but it's, you know, just a logo instead. And the face is actually different. Here we are with Cranky, and it has a lever right here to make the train stop and go. And this is an actual rope up here. We have Cranky, and I'm very hyped to have him right now. As you can see, this gear turns his actual head, which is very good for recording because, you know, you could just point up here as I'm doing right now and have him turning. And I like the depth that this has with the camera because look at how long his crane arm is and then it's just like in the foreground while his face is in the background. We also have like some fake rope up here to simulate the gear here. This gear actually connects to the hook right here, which makes it go down and up, which you can just do this. And we have another Thomas and Friends logo. This is just what they're gonna be doing with all the new sets, which I kind of really do not like because I don't like how like weird and out of place the Thomas and Friends logo are in the sets. We have the troublesome truck here. He has a lot of design. He's orange and it seems to have the same molding, just orange. And I'm pretty sure it's orange just because it's for the docks. And it's definitely a like seaside color. We have this troublesome truck and that troublesome truck. So the old one has teeth, meanwhile the orange one doesn't, and he's looking to the left, his right. It looks really cool with the cargo in it, so let me see if I can actually hook on the cargo to Cranky. Do it just like, ah! That's so cool, I just did it. I didn't even have to move the, the crane arm or anything. Nope, they're definitely lobsters. They have a longer torso instead of just like from one side to the next. Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Ah! So Cranky just got the pesky troublesome truck under control. And yeah, that's basically all for this unboxing. He just caused a bunch of chaos with Duchess and the rest of them. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, and tell me what the rating is for this set since I don't have Wolfie to tell me the rating. I personally rate it 10 out of 10. I really like it a lot. I cannot wait to use this set. The only con that I have is the Thomas and Friends logo as always. So hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.